Yeah, it's a recording now. Uh, so first of all, uh, yeah. So <clears throat> pray to your guru or to whomever you believe, and then we'll start. Okay. Okay, so let's start. Um, just to start with brief introduction. Uh, if you can switch on your camera just for introduction, after that you can switch off. It's better. If you cannot, that is still okay, but I would prefer. Okay, so just start your introduction and uh, brief background if you have any experience of astrology, particularly, and what is your expectation with this class? Okay, and then so that when we talk, we will know to whom we are talking and, you know, some sort of image in the mind it will form. So let's start. I'll go one by one. I'm seeing Snehalji, your name is coming first in the Zoom participate. So yeah, let's start with you. Uh, yeah. Okay. I'm from India. So I think I'll wish good morning to everyone. Yeah, um, good morning. The others uh, can take my visitors. Good evening. Um, I'm actually very excited and happy to be a part of this uh, course. Uh, from last two years, I've been practicing numerology and Vastu. Okay. Uh, this year, with help of Arvind, uh, with the help of uh, my, my sir from where I have learned uh, numerology is Arvind sir and uh, uh, Jayan sir has helped me in actually uh, portraying the right kind of uh, numerology report for my clients. So this is how I've got in touch with Jayan sir and his software is really helping me to you know derive the right thing of numerology for my clients and with the help of his software uh, I could start my professional career I can say. My predictions are really going very, very correct and appropriate. So when I ask my reviews from my clients, they are saying that it is matching with 80% of what exactly has happened in the past and what is there. So I'm really thankful for that. And uh, even this uh, astrology uh, will also help me to achieve more of it because I feel is that if I have a knowledge of numerology and Vastu, I should also have a certain knowledge about astrology because sometimes people come with this uh, uh, note that, you know, uh, what is astrology then? You don't know astrology. So I felt is that if I don't know, then let me learn it what exactly it is so that I can combine my numerology, astrology and Vastu and uh, actually bring a complete uh, detailed report for my clients. So I'm expecting that from uh, Jayan sir today, that uh, astrology, the report, what we get, we, I really don't know what is this nakshatra, Rahu Ketu, all nine <laughs> planets we know, but how exactly they play a role in our life, I would like yeah. to study that. So I'm here and I hope I learn a lot from, our, uh, from uh, Jayan sir. Thank sure, you sure. Jayan sir for giving me this opportunity. Welcome. Definitely we will go. It's a, uh, we will start from the basics. So yeah, then we will go step by step. Okay. It's a little vast compared to numerology, but yeah, definitely I'll cover all the things. Thank you. Uh, Anup ji, your name is coming second. Uh, Anup ji told his connection is not very good today, right? So yeah. Aarti ji, your... Okay, okay, okay Anup ji, yeah. Yeah. So, hi all. Greetings for the day. And I, I have been interested in the astrology. I have been interested in the astrology from childhood only. Like from uh, my 16th year of the age, I started to get dream of occult sciences. Means the dreams which are 
means the reality which is going to be real in few days i started getting dreams for that I means six sense i got and dheere 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 automatically mera astrology ka matlab nine planets nine, their stories shukra grah ka story guru grah ka story wo sanjeevne ki wo wo padhta gaya so that's why i'm interested a lot in astrology i'm currently in it as a project manager mm-hmm. but i wish to do career in the astrology also and Excellent. i saw jain sir's one video so i found that um, very in very lucid language and dheere dheere explanation so that i am i was fond of so i joined the course great so you yes, you you saw my video on youtube yeah one video i saw after uh, uh, means talking to a chat exactly great welcome anup ji uh, third is uh, aarti ji uh, aarti ji you are mute So she messaged on the group she can't talk yeah they said that they can't talk oh, okay okay no problem um uh arun sir your turn no you are on mute sir okay okay good evening and morning to everyone my name is arun i am from india i am uh just learning i've learned from so uh, the numerology and the bhrigunandi nadi i am learning this uh, science uh, as my passion and to understand the things what how the planet work and how the things go on so i am fascinated to learn about astrology also i am total of fresher in this line but as a hobby i want to learn learning and if i feel i'm comfortable with the blessing of so i would like to do consultation also at subsequent time thank you excellent, excellent. welcome ha uh, cynthia your name is coming next did you say me mhm oh, this is okay uh it's going in and out i'm not for sure why um okay my get my hello everyone my name is cynthia um i learned uh numerology from uh jay i i knew of it but then i learned uh, a lot more from him and um i was always been interested in also so just learning the basics for astrology i didn't want to go too deep into astrology just the basics so i could navigate through uh the website um the the software and and also help my clients so i'm glad to be here and i look forward to um you know interacting with everyone in the class so thank you great great welcome cynthia uh inayat ji your turn sorry if i'm looking a little weird it's actually early morning here and i'm like that no why is the message it off <laughs> Thank you so much. Hello everyone, it's Anayat. I'm actually uh, thanks to sir that I have an office in Jaipur right now. Oh great. And uh, mm-hmm. honestly sir, it's all thanks to you. I'm like so confident in my work right now and like I'm dealing with clients and like I'm getting a good response but uh currently i just basically wanted to like revise all the things that you have taught us and because sometimes i get stuck in like the basics sometimes i forget what the main point of certain thing was so i just wanted to refresh everything and great about that great energy welcome and i'm really excited about meeting new people like you know discussing <laughs> and sharing new things sure because sure because you never know what you learn new <laughs> sure exactly sir for sure. thanks a lot sir for the, like you have given me such confidence in doing like in doing this study as like a professional honestly like i was never like that confident in like dealing with people but because of you i was getting that confidence and i really really wanted to thank you for that thank you always welcome because yeah, without you i don't think that i would have been able to do such things <laughs> sure thanks, sure thanks thank a lot sir thank you 
थैंक्स कंचन जी कंचन जी योर टॉप यू आर म्यूट hello everyone uh, my name is kanchan before meeting jenty like i was ex- just experience uh, with the palmistry i was like mm-hmm. practicing little bit but uh, after joining that numero course everything was changed so like my numerology is really very good going with the palmistry and uh, as earlier told like the software what chenchi gave us that was awesome really that helps to predict few things even without any 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 hurdle like i was just giving the remedies i was giving the solutions with the numerology so that was really great helpful third thing like uh, the brigubandin uh, bindu nadi what we were learned from jenchi that was really helpful as well as we were learning astrology during the things but still i just want to refresh myself because i was not uh, practicing much because <laughs> numerology is good so yeah. that is easy so i was just predicting like everything and really janji uh, great thankful to you and your team who made this software like my thank you very almost much. my 80 to 90 90% predictions are really up to the mark like everyone says yes what you are telling what you are suggesting is almost really very good actually thankful to you thankful thank, thank you thank you thank you janji yep yeah that also gives me confidence uh, <laughs> to make it more better and i'm enhancing every day a little bit so yes thank you very much kanchan ji uh, ruchi gupta ji your turn thank you uh, ruchi gupta ji your turn you you are on mute Okay, so we'll go to next. Then Ritu ji, we have couple of people left. <laughs> then we'll start. I know, but first day, so that's okay. So next session onwards, we will start course directly. So yeah, Ritu ji, you. Hi everyone. Uh, my name is Ritu, and um, <clears throat> I'm a life coach and a tutor. Uh, I'm I live in Sydney, and uh, I have no experience of anything, but I I always love. Uh, reading uh, astrology reading signs and stuff but i'm not experienced at all in <laughs> so many ways <laughs> uh but i am always very much inclined i saw jayanti video on youtube and i feel very much connected and then i was thinking okay let me just try that and i found a course in front of me so probably okay. <laughs> i joined it so <clears throat> that's why i'm here uh, but yeah i think it's out of personal st- uh, personal reasons i want to join astrology i need some answers so i hope i'll get them so thank you sure. nice to welcome. meet you all welcome thank you thank you ruchi gupta oh, sorry thank you ritu ji yeah Sandeep ji your turn Good morning good afternoon good evening to everyone from different parts <laughs> of the world I'm from India based out of uh, Melbourne and, uh, I have been associated with uh, Jains for almost a year now where I got to learn uh, numerology uh, and uh, Brigunadi Brigunadi was a big, big mess for me uh, not because of uh, your teaching sir but because of uh, you know my personal uh hurdles that i could not understand it very well so it is more of a learning from uh, a, a new beginning or a refresher or whatever but yeah like you always say you should always have uh, different kind of bows in your quiver so this is just one another step towards that okay um 
great welcome sandeep ji yeah this time we will make it <laughs> we'll go step by step <laughs> so <laughs> next is uh, supriya ji good morning hi i am my, my name is supriya so i'm uh, i just want to learn something new so i just got to know of this course like last week so i just want to learn something new so i hope this course will help me do that so uh, thank you sir for uh, uh, starting this course so okay. let's see what's what's there in the basket so yep, yeah sure yeah see see is learning just yeah. out of curiosity so yeah okay we'll we'll yeah. cover from basics so it's it's like a, from scratch we are going to start so she she is dentist in singapore uh, uh yeah hello everyone <laughs> and tarun ji you are last uh tarun ji i think he's on mute sorry sorry, sorry. <laughs> uh i am tarun from india uh mm-hmm. i i have a small business uh, i have already learned the numerology and astrology from sir and he is very good in teaching and like i want to refresh or uh, my astrology in numerology i i can predict very easily by by learning from the sir so i want to refresh uh, again that's why i joined this course and i felt that it because uh, it's a couple thing it is very <laughs> like <laughs> great great sure tarun ji we will uh, definitely make it this time <laughs> we will learn we will practice sir. and yeah uh so i think zoom user is a samra ji um see she is offline so this uh, she is from canada but basically from pakistan so this time we have very versatile team <laughs> india pakistan <laughs> singapore america canada australia so different time zone and that's the beauty of astrology we all it's uh, nothing to do with anything religion or anything it's completely scientific approach and we are trying to explore the things here <laughs> Okay, so let me introduce myself. Uh, <coughs> I'm audible. Okay, right. So uh, my name is Jayant Kumar Watsa. I'm. Uh, uh, I have been practicing this astrology, this bias science, for last twenty years. I started in two thousand one, uh, and I was doing astrology, numerology, uh, basically Prashna. Uh, all those things uh, related to that palm history a little bit so vastu sometimes so it it depends as what kind of problem it is so accordingly and and i'm teaching uh, astrology numerology uh, number based nakshatra based astrology uh, vastu i'm going to start now uh, in couple of months so <clears throat> palm history is another class i'm also teaching sometimes so uh, i love teaching that that's why i teach astrology i love teaching and i want to explore this subject uh, the same kind of curiosity i also have i want to know the truth so that's what i always read the reason behind why it is happening and exploring this subject so in this course particularly this is basic of uh, like a level 1 basically astrology a uh, professional course level 1 i have given the reason is last time when i started uh, like sandeep ji or tarun ji told like when we started from starting so what happens couple of people are not able to grasp the basics and in advance they are facing problem so this time i have separated the course once you get all the basic concepts then only we will jump to the second level okay but it doesn't mean this in first level we are not going to do prediction or we are not going to learn the things or you are not able to predict or suggest some remedy we are still able to do that but in next level we are going to little more advance and nitty gritty of each event so there are more if else and more details 
So suppose, for example, in this course, what we are going to teach is like how will be your marital life in general, good, bad, what kind of problem you will face. And uh, like, what are the criteria when people usually get married? But in advanced course, we discuss like, uh, how is the spouse nature? What is their father is doing? How is the house around the spouse? Which directions he will come? Who is the person who will give problem in the marital life? It's each and every detail is like, you know, like the same thing in the profession. So th that's why that is advanced. But in order to know that things, you must be confident in this part. Okay. So numerology uh, is easy compared to astrology. The reason is we always see the numbers around. We always know how to calculate uh, some difference and all those things. But in astrology, basically, we are not uh, used to it. We know only the planets, but uh, we have to understand their language first. But it is a similar concept. Uh, if you see these all occult science, numerology, palmistry, astrology, this, these all are basically similar things. It's basically the energy we are scanning. Parameters are different. In numerology, we are understanding, we are doing prediction based on the numbers. But it's not the numbers, it's the energy behind that. When we say number one, it's like uh, in taking initiative, ego and all. It is not the one, it is the energy behind that number. Like the same thing when we do palmistry, we see this mount and lines. It is not the mount or lines, it's the, it's the energy behind that. Same thing, who is doing the tarot, they are reading that numbers using their psychic powers. Same thing in astrology, what we will do is we will do the planets, houses, and uh, zodiac signs, and uh, use this combination to do the prediction. Good thing is astrology, it has been, you know, has been done research for a long time. So that's what we, we have a lot of options in this. It is more explored. Uh, but bad thing is, because it is too vast, so grasping everything, it is difficult. So my way of teaching is I will try to do it narrow so that we will first focus on learning. And once we are confident, then we will explore all the ifs. Okay. First thing, let's get the confidence. Let's understand the basic things. And then we will try to explore more. Uh, in details okay so if possible i i would suggest it is like one month course uh, or if uh, if it requires then i will take one or two weeks extra but mostly it is one week course so by the with this one week i i have given you access to the software okay uh, whoever is new i have given access those who are old already they have the software so <clears throat> And I will share the notes as well. So you don't need to go to YouTube or Google to search any new things. Okay, for one month, just put your approach narrow. After one month, you are free. Whatever you want to do, just do it. But if during this one month, if you go here, there, uh, you will not be able to reach that. This is, this is what the feedback I got from the person who, who is doing good or who is not able to do good. Okay. So you all are mature uh, senior, so I cannot force you do this, but uh, I would suggest whatever I say, follow, because I'm telling you this with my experience, with all the feedback, okay? I'm confident the reason is there are a lot of people who has completed this course, they are doing independent consulting. So course-wise, it is good. And uh, those who has completed that very good, not a proper professional course, they are able to predict that. So course content-wise, it is good. Only thing is we need to little bit uh, serious. And uh, if I'll give assignment, try to complete it. Okay. I will make WhatsApp group after this call, this meeting. And then we will use that group for uh, any question or anything. Okay. Uh, welcome, Narayan, sir. So let's start. Good morning, sir. Good morning. 
so just before we start there's a there's a little wall uh, from your end sir uh, at time uh, voice is not coming clear at times sir in between while you're speaking okay yeah sometimes i'm seeing that your internet is, is unstable i don't know why it is coming but i think it will be okay okay so let me share my screen so this is astrology professional course um so this is navagraha mantras okay um basically it is prayer to all the nine planets as an astrologer we should be chanting this uh, <laughs> but uh, if you are not it's completely okay and this is om gurave nama uh, we should always pray to our guru uh, to whom we believe um because uh, astrology is a little complex and uh, we need a blessing of a guru okay so when we say guru so guru is basically made up of two words gu plus ru gu means darkness ru means light so guru is a person who bring us from darkness to light who show the path of light or who show the path from darkness to light so basically astrology occult science it is hidden things right so when we start learning this science there's a one point we are not sure this one is good this path is good or this one is good at that time we need a blessing of a person who can guide us okay so guru is the one who can help you in achieving that even though whatever you start any new big project or anything uh you should pray to your guru okay any big task because you need a blessing because when you start always there's a confusion which path is the right one okay so for that we need so guru can be anyone it's not necessary me and i'm not guru <laughs> okay so guru is the person to whom you believe okay and uh, if you don't know who is your guru and to whomever you believe like a husband wife brother sister mom dad friend girlfriend boyfriend anyone it can be to whom you believe but if you think that person is not eligible for your guru then uh, in hinduism there are three lord lord shankar okay uh surya dev sun god sun god is the common among uh, all the religions so that anybody can pray and uh, narad muni okay yeah in earlier like in initial days when people were not able to find the guru because it was very difficult very few people were knowledgeable and there lost of caste system so that time narad muni was the universal guru for everyone whoever wants to learn anything so suri dev is the one sun god um, you can pray to him he will guide you okay this is the mantra navagraha mantra uh, this is for uh, uh, all the planets so as an astrologer or numerologist we should pray because we are dealing with these entity and we need a blessing of this one so brahma murari tripratakari bhanu shashi bhumi suto buddhas gurus ch sukre sani rahu ketu sarvagrah shantikara bhavantu okay this is the one 
um, if you I like this quote, if you really want to understand this universe, then think in a perspective of energy. frequency and vibrations. Someone message me. Uh, my voice is not clear. Is that not audible to everyone? Yes, sir, yes. it's breaking. It's breaking. It's, breaking. it's still breaking? Yes. Yeah, it's yeah, freezing. Yeah, it's freezing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's breaking a little. Okay, give me one minute. Okay, let me check that. I'm, I'm just. Okay, so let's see if if it is still continues. Okay, I check the connection and everything is okay. Uh, it's just still breaking. No, uh, are you able to hear that? Uh, hear me yes, properly? Good. Yeah. It's okay now? Yeah. Yes. Okay, let me know once if it is breaks, okay? Okay, sir. Okay, so, uh, so if, <clears throat> so I like this quote from Nikola Tesla. So if you really want to understand the universe, think in a perspective of energy, frequency, and vibration. Okay. So basically everything is vibration only. Okay. And this vibration happens because of this energy. And if anything is in particular frequency, this rhythm, you know, right? Frequency and noise that we, we have already learned in childhood. So anything is in particular rhythm that we we says, okay, it is a good, like a, a good signal, but anything is, which is not in order, not following particular rhythm that we say the noise. So anything in particular order, so that creates the changes. Same thing the planet is trying to do. Okay. So it is, we are influenced by our surroundings, the planets. Okay. So in this, uh, uh, you can go on mute. Um, I have given access to, to the new joinee. Okay, this is the software cosmic.astrobasic.com slash login. Okay. I'm putting this link on chat. Uh, so particularly Anup ji and uh, Ritu ji. You two might be completely new, but most of them have the software. So you can log in here with your email ID and the password. Uh, I'll share the password. You can try after the class. So when you log in, you will come to dashboard and this is the Vedic software that we will use. Okay. So let's do this. I'm putting any just Random date of birth, I'm just putting. Yes, Anubji. Uh, yes, sir. I want to ask that uh, do we have to uh, log in just now or we have to watch? No, you just see that, and... uh, but after that, uh, after this class, you can log in. No problem. Yeah, yeah, okay. Thanks.
Eso me quedo de ahí. So when you um, use this software, we need basically in order to do any astrology or any chart, we need basically three parameters. One is date of birth. Anyway, you are using that in numerology. Birthplace and birth time. Okay. Let it be Lahiri. That is okay. There are a lot of options, but you can take that Lahiri by default. It is coming. So you don't need to change that one. You don't need to put daylight saving. It is outside India. Uh, so Cynthia for you and those who are in Canada and Australia. Australia also have daylight saving, right? So they can yes. use if it is if it is applicable. Okay. Uh, enter a number that does not need male, female, doesn't matter. Okay. So these things we need, first thing. And then you will see this type of box. Okay. So in that drop down, we will use Bhrigu Nadi. Okay, so it will help us to learn. As I said, I'm trying to make this approach narrow and with the help of software, we can learn quickly. Okay, so now let's start. So this is how the chart will come, right? That we have seen here. This is the chart, same way this chart will come. In the chart, you see this name, M-E, M-A-R, R-A, Jupiter, S-A, Saturn, M-O-N, Moon, Ketu. Like that, we have nine planets. I'll give you the name of nine planets. And then you see this numbering, small numbering, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. These numberings are called the zodiac sign. Okay. And this box here. This is the box. One box, two box, three box, four box, five box, six box, seven box, eight box, nine box, 10 box, 11 box, and 12 box. These boxes are called the house. So we have 12 houses. We have 12 zodiac signs and we have nine planets. So this is the game of these three things. Okay. So we have to focus on these three things and this is the combination of these three will give us the result. So whatever chart you will draw, okay. So you will find these three things, okay. One important thing is this number, what you are seeing here, one, it can be two, three, four, five, six, any number it can be. But this box will be always considered the first house. So in any software, whatever you will use, you will not see the numbering of the house because everybody knows that this first one is called the first house, second one is called the second house, third, fourth. It is anti-clockwise. Whoever is born, on whatever date, this number will vary. Zodiac sign will vary, but this box is always, this is the first one. So like that, if you see in this software, that software, you see here, it is written five. You are able to see that? Or yeah. shall I increase the size? Visible. Okay. You see this five, six. These five are the zodiac sign. Six number is the zodiac sign. Seven number is the. We will understand each and everything. But first of all, we have to understand this, because I, I, I know initial class. I thought it was too easy, but people were confused in this itself. Uh, 
So that's what I'm giving little more time here to understand those who are very new, those who haven't seen this astrology at all for those. So when you enter these three, this type of box will come and this will be our first house. This will always be our first house. Okay. This is my first house. It is common. It is second house. It is third house. It is fourth house. It is fifth house. Like that, it is twelfth house. Sixth, seventh, eighth, ninth, tenth, eleventh. But numbering will vary. Your date of birth will have different. My date of birth will have this different numbering. This is called the zodiac sign. Rashi. Okay. So we have different zodiac signs. So 12 zodiac sign, 12 houses, and nine planets. We have three additional planets, uh, Uranus, Neptune, Pluto, but we are not considering them. So we are just considering these nine planets. Okay. Sir, so consider why you don't three planets to Uranus, Neptune, Pluto? Ko, sir? Uh, those are like uh, added in uh, recent time and uh, whatever text and all things we have, it was uh, not there at that time. But in Western numerology, we are using that. So if I will include that, then while doing prediction, I don't have that exact combinations. Okay. okay. So that's what I don't want to touch them. But I will explain you what these look like. And uh, you can you can explore that, okay. But without that, also, it is enough. The text, what we read, we refer. They don't have those planets listed. That's why. Okay. So so far we are good. Ah, uh, Ritu ji, Anup ji. Yes, sir. Okay, yes, so sir. when you put date over, these three things will come. Snehalji, you are good, right? Yes, yes, sir. Yeah. Now the thing is, <clears throat> each house is representing our area of life. Okay. So like events of our life. So suppose anybody born. So what we want to check whether how will be the health of the kids. So health is referred by like sixth house, chronic disease like eighth house, longevity, whether he will be hospitalized or not, twelfth house. How will be his body structure and how will be his physical strength, first house. He will grow and then we want to know that how will be his education then fourth house and then we want to know how intelligent he will be then their intellect will be like from fifth house and then like that how will be his mom so fourth house how will be his dad like ninth house or tenth house depend on that how will be his financial condition so income is again eleventh house second house is like net money, how much he is able to save and all those expenses and all. wealth basically. How is his sibling, third house, friend circle, network, 11th house, like that each house is giving idea of particular area of life. Okay. And there are a lot of significance. Each house has a lot of significance. Okay. There is a book <laughs> it's uh, that says that each house is like 120 significance minimum. Okay, I'll, I'll share that book name as well. If you want, you can read it. It's it's like a, a very uh, it's a, like 600, 700 pages book. But we don't need to it's learn like 120 significance. Okay, our approach should be narrow. The more we will explore, we will come to know that. We don't need to mug up anything or memorize anything. We, we will be knowing that. Yeah, you were telling something. Sir, house has more power or planet has more power, sir? 
uh, I'll, I'll come to that. Okay, okay. I'll come to that. Okay. Then we have this zodiac sign. Okay. So the zodiac sign, you are seeing that numbering in houses. So basically the zodiac sign, we have 12 zodiac sign. And each zodiac sign has a lordship. Okay. So like we have 12 zodiac sign. That 12 zodiac sign you have to remember. So next class when you will come, you have to remember that zodiac sign. Okay. And their lordship. So let me check. Uh, it should be there in my PPT. Yeah. So I'll, I'll share this PPT with all of you, okay? So these are the zodiac sign name, like Aries, in Hindi it is called Mesha, Taurus, it is called Vrishabha, and you see the numbering. So in software or any, any software you will use, they will not write Aries, they will rise one, write one. They will not write Taurus, they will write two. So when you see that five, that means it is Leo. When you see six, it is means Virgo. Like for example, if I'll go now, you see this five, what does five means? It is Leo. Six means it is Virgo. Seven means it is Libra. Eight means it is Scorpio. So this numbering and this Lord, you should be, it should be in your blood. Even though in midnight, somebody will wake you up and will say that, okay, give it, tell me the number of what is the zodiac sign of seven. You should be able to tell that it is Libra and the Lord is Venus. So you should not think that. You should be aligned with these things. If you are not able to do this one, then it will be very difficult. Okay. We need to. There is no other option. So 12 zodiac sign. If you are a numerologist, you must be knowing this one, right? Any question, any confusion? No, nope, sounds good. Okay, <laughs> yeah. So if you face any difficulties in re remembering, memorizing, let me know, okay? There so is I a... have a question. Mm -hmm. Snehal here. Yes, Nelji. Um, so, uh, since I know of uh, numerology, in mm -hmm. numerology, when we give uh, lots to that uh, nine uh, numbers, mm -hmm. so uh, it doesn't repeat, the lot doesn't repeat. But here, I've seen that the uh, zodiac sign lots are repeated. Like uh, yes. one also, yeah. So, that is where I would like to have a more uh, idea about it. This, this is a really good question, okay? Uh, then that same question came to my mind also because numerology, when I like numerology a lot. If you really want to understand this subject, either numerology or astrology or anything related to occult science, focus on these four elements. Even though Vastu, if you want to do that, these five elements, okay, forget about space because space is included in everything because that is the base of all the things. So, but these four elements, fire, earth, air, and water, that. So when you are seeing that Aries is a Mars and Scorpio Lord is also Mars. So Mars has two types of quality. One is fiery and one is water. Okay. So when it, when it comes to Scorpio, it is intense emotion. That's why they are like always want to take revenge. They always want to... Uh, do like, you know, occult science, secretive things. They want to get the knowledge because water has the tendency to get the knowledge. But when it comes to Aries, it is fire. They always want to rule something. They want to initiate something. They always want to go ahead as a leader. 
So same planet has two different behavior. That's why in the number nine, when you see the Mars, it has two different types of property. One is like a philanthropist, a spiritual. Second times you are saying, okay, again, he's mingling with people and trying to do that, separating the things away, ending the things, fire attendance. So it has both quality. We have to understand. So we will slowly see that. But for starting purpose, our thing is to remember this particular one. Without that, we will not be able to go in. Okay. So each zodiac sun and moon has only one zodiac sign. You see that number five has sun and four has moon. Rest all the planets has two rulership of two zodiac sign. Mars is for Aries and Scorpio. Venus is for Taurus and Libra. Mercury is for Gemini and uh, Virgo. Then Cancer, the Sun. And then uh, Sagittarius is like a Jupiter and Pisces. So, sorry, Jupiter, Sagittarius and Pisces. Saturn is like 10th and 11th. Okay. So these two. So we should be knowing this one. No exception. Okay, clear. Now we'll go to the next one. Now we know that our event of life depends on these houses. That is clear, right? So if we want to see something, some events, so we have to focus on the house. Okay, we want to see how will be my uh, education, how will be my kids' education. We put the date of birth of the kids and then we are focusing on the fourth house. We want to see that. Now the fourth house has, now the education, I'm talking about high level just so that you can understand. Okay, I'm not going to very details. Okay, I'm just talking about high level. Now you are talking about the education. We know that fourth house. So in the fourth house, nobody is there. Okay. No one is there in the fourth house. Then we have to see. So the planets in fourth house. And then we should focus on fourth house Lord. So Scorpio. Who is the Lord of this fourth house? Mars. So Mars is placed here. And third thing is the significator of education. We say that Karkatwa. Okay, that is Mercury. So I am cleaning this one. So I'm making like three things here. So this always three things comes into picture. House. House Lord and Significator. So it is fourth. Lord is Mars. Significator is Mercury. So now we have to analyze this house, this Mars, and this Mercury, and we have to decide how will be his education. Okay. Every time. Now, suppose you want to analyze the marriage. Seventh. Seventh Lord. Seventh house Lord. Who is the seventh house Lord? Eleven number means Saturn. You can check that in the chart. It's a Saturn. Saturn. And who is the significator of marriage? Venus. I'll give yes. you the list. I'll give you the list. Okay. Great. Now, I want to analyze the kids. Pro progeny, whether we will conceive, deliver, and all those things. House number is fifth. Who is this house lord? Nine number. Is a Jupiter basically Sagittarius lord is Jupiter. And who is the significator of the kids? Jupiter or Sun. So we will focus on these three, and then we will decide whether what will happen. Okay. 
this one is plus 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 this is the final blessings of god you are able to see that or shall i use white paper because i am seeing this chart right that's what i'm writing here so this part is basically the blessings this part is 2 plus and this one is a plus this just fifth house planet is telling that the desire of the person fifth house lord will say how he is fulfilling his desire in easy way or in difficult ways whether he will be able to succeed or not but this is the karkatwa who is telling ultimate things whether he has the blessings of god to fulfill his ultimate result or not whether he will be able to blessed with a child or not so these three things are always coming into picture so this is how we will any first of all so our step is first step decide the event so if you decide the event that means suppose you decided the event of marriage then just focus on the marriage don't think about the uh, education or progeny or a career or anything just focus on the marriage shake that house shake the house lord shake the significator sir significator kaise check karte hain sir significator we have the list of significator right for education okay. mercury for marriage okay. venus for property okay. like okay. mars saturn okay. for career okay. saturn kya okay. right? lagnis dekh ke bata rahe sir no 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 it's not it's nothing to do with learning it's independent of any chart okay. Okay. okay it's independent of any chart significator is independent of any chart it is always common so we will check this one and if it is in good condition then marriage will be good if it is in bad condition marriage will be bad if it is mixed then it is average <laughs> okay so now we have to know how to check whether it's a good or bad that's the question but our approach should always be like this any question in that you can ask me so just show us once please how to look at the significator from the uh, ppt significator we have i will i, I have, we have all the significator listed okay i will i will uh, write the significator also but we have that in the a uh, pdf file all the significator okay. okay so we don't need to worry um, we have here let me clear this one we'll go one by one but i i just want to tell you the end result what we are going to do so that you should not be confused so here if you see this is the planets right So these all are the significator of the planets. It is common across all the chart. It doesn't. Uh, it's either your chart or my chart. This is the one. Okay, like a father. If you want to know about the father, we will check the sun. How is the condition of the sun? If sun is along with Rahu, then we can say that the when the person was born, the, his father was like a suffering from some problem. either job related problem or social related family related or some problem will be there because rahu is a malefic so we will see that now okay same way like a um, moon mars mars is a husband if we want to know about the husband nature we will see mars is associated with which planet if it is associated with saturn then his husband will be little stubborn he will be dominating if mars is associated with venus then he will be very handsome if it is moon he will be little more romantic easily fall in love with anyone okay so we have to see that uh, karkatwa and the along with the planets okay and we will learn these things but i am giving you high level ideas so that you should be knowing what will be our approach okay so now we learned two three things first thing we learned 
we will go to the software and we will put date of birth place time and put submit we will get this chart okay and in this chart we will know this is our zodiac sign this is house six seven eight like that so when we say that who is the lord of first house what we will say fifth number fifth number is leo leo's lord is sun so lord of house number one is sun so this sun is the lord of this house okay so like suppose you see this second house second is the house is about the money so the lord of the second house is mercury okay so mercury is responsible for all the money and all and venus is sitting in this house means venus is the tenant in this house if the relationship with this tenant and the lord is good then this house is good if the relationship between this tenant and this house is not house lord is not good then this is problem luckily for this person whoever chart it is mercury and venus are friend so this relation is a good though in the chart somebody will say no it is deviated it is not good it will still good give good because it is going to be the libra so initially might be a little problem but this later part of life he will be good okay so it is good okay so like that we have to study yeah anup ji uh hi sir i have a sorry for interrupting you i have a small query my the significator the natural significators those differ from male and female or those are same no it it varies for okay, like okay. why for male and female yeah for uh, not much but couple of places it varies like for husband uh, for why girls husband is like a mars but yeah, for boys yeah. the wife is like a winner yes. winners okay okay, okay so we will, we will see that when it's not yeah, a yeah. big thing yeah. but this is how we will read the status of any area of life like that okay so let's see that our first thing any question then this uh, planet will behave like a house or a house will behave like a planet sir a uh, house will not behave like a planet planet mm -hmm. in the house planet in the house uh, tells you the condition of that it, it is the same like when you are renting someone right suppose there is a, this is suppose temple and you put someone who is who is not a spiritual person so they will disturb the temple right mm -hmm. but whether temple will be able to function at all or not depends on the lord of the temple so this four number like moon condition of the moon will tell whether this end of the day this temple will be functioning or not this person can make just ups and down they are not the final decide decide happens based on this moon okay mm -hmm. so this lord and the significator is the blessings okay So like that. Thank you. Okay, then uh, no question. Degree also affects sir. Degree also. I... Degree also affect. Uh, in astrology, lot of things. So I'm just trying to put that approach narrow. Okay, so that people should not confuse. They are all new. So I don't want to include those terminologies. Okay. okay? so in this what you should do is you go to that when you enter you go to this part you have lot of option select the bhrigu nadi okay and then we have the aspect okay next thing we will learn aspect next class so you see this house number 1 it is already given that what which aspect what because that is little confusing and people always complain so i have made this in software and here also we have written that who is conjunct who is expected by who is expected to okay and the position whether it's a enemy debilitated like that so that we will come to know whether it's a good condition or not 
okay so let's see this part now let's start our discussion now so astrology introduction to astrology i gave you the heads up in initially uh, that what exactly we are how we are reading the chart so that you should understand the end goal okay so what is astrology so as per oxford dictionary astrology is the study of movement and relative position of celestial bodies interpreted as having an influence on human affairs this is the definition in the oxford dictionary but what we are going to read is not astrology it is basically jyotish it is made up made up of two words uh, jyoti and is okay jyoti means light isha means god so the light of god okay so it is basically a light from god uh, vedic means uh, uh, vedas which comes from the vedas basically uh, vedas are like a, we have four vedas and the last one has all the uh, this occult science ayurveda uh, vastu all this included in the last vedas okay it is like at least 5000 years ago this is what the evidence is that <laughs> okay um, and uh, it is like uh, vedas are knowledge of store house it is written by the hindu sages they are like a scientist uh, for nowadays as we see they do research and all this but these scientists sages were doing things for the human uh, for welfare of the human kind okay mankind so they have written these things okay and uh, somebody believes that uh, it is not possible for normal human being to think like that so god himself given the knowledge to sages which has been written in the vedas okay because for human mind to think that much it is not possible that's why people believe that okay so we are uh, just uh, uh, think thanks to god <laughs> we are learning this pious science spiritual science which can help us in knowing ourselves in better way and we can predict that future there is no such science in the world who can predict the future so that makes sense so here is the houses key words key points um so this is first house is called the ascendant and what it tells about is tells about self body personality so if you have to judge anybody's personality this first house tells that how is his personality okay second house is the accumulated wealth speech food family so anything related to family or money or food which type of food he likes what kind of family he has how supportive it is all those things is coming from the second house third house is sibling short journeys communications short travels siblings uh, it is also the courage okay so courage in nowadays and we are in social media so this is media also all the printing medias or electronic medias so if this house is strong people are doing good in media okay fourth house is mother home vehicle property uh, all the this is called the sukhes means all the things that is come happiness for us so like mom gives happiness home the place where you sleep at night relax so if this house is badly afflicted you will not feel satisfied or happiness or content and that so you will always feel like there's something missing in the life but it also has other part like a vehicle property luxury all sort of um things it coming from this fifth house is our children creativity hobby romance the love affairs the romance that is coming the fifth house uh, this house is also telling about the fan followers how many people will follow you okay follow in the sense like you it's not like like and share follow really want to follow you okay wanted to be part of your journey so this one 
sixth house is a bad house it is called enemy illness routine work day to day work okay this house is bad or good in both sense i'll explain you how this is grouped but this one is is required this this is house of enemy illness disease but this is also house of our day to day work so if this house is good then it gives the rise in our career but if this house is bad then we are not able to finish our daily jobs a uh, marriage partner people in masses seventh house is like uh, marriage partner business this one is for the job this is for the business okay so if anybody wants to do business then this house should be strong compared to this house so marriage partner and people in masses means uh, uh, this is like a followers but this is how many people you know okay uh, because it is self so opposite to that it is partner and this is death and earn money sudden events so it is bad house it says about our longevity how long we will live it is not exactly death but it tells about the ayu okay so it is telling our how long we are going to live in this planet ninth house this is spirituality higher education long distance travel religion uh, higher learning and father as well okay and this is the strongest house among whole because this is our bhagya and luck okay so this is good house 10th house is our career social status fame so basically career related things this one is for the gain income friendship fulfillment of desire and this one is like a loss bad pleasure the unconsciousness so this one is uh, related to a bad pleasure a hospitalization away from home this is not a good house it is a house of loss but this house nowadays it is very good because in order to settle in abroad this house is important so 12th house is abroad this house is uh, prison as well hospitalization as well if you see carefully each and every house means you can relate as well so basically this is self and this is the loss of the self so if you are going hospital or if somebody is going hospital or jail that means they are going away from their family they are putting as like that if somebody is settling in abroad they are leaving their family behind so like that it is 12000 okay so in this is the basic couple of things i have mentioned here okay uh, but in detail if you see here i have given details also like first house what it is signifies called lagna house one of the most important house this house represent the physical stature complexion form shape of an individual health vigor vitality natural tendency are controlled by this house personality chest of life or not dignity so these are the significant so you don't need to be scared like you have to remember everything okay right. i'll put this narrow but in order to teach i have to give all the information okay like that if you go to the sir, second term, yeah sir sir ye jo abhi lagna se aap kehte hain you know the about the you know more in here teacher or correct uh, matlab how the person uh, looks like wo kaise hota sir uh, on the jo uh, house lord se uski uske characteristics kaise matlab wo kaise pata hai teacher kaise pata hai how will look like the short height long uh, yeah, healthy it is difficult to tell now because at that time people like from the same geographical location they okay. have some particular types of color or height and this one but now people you cannot say that acha ye nahi ki jo li hoga short height ka hoga jo we cannot say that because usually that sun uh, if it is sun leo they usually look aged 
okay, okay. if it is mercury that will look a uh, little Childish. young if mercury yeah. is in the lagna people okay. even though he he will be like 40 50 he will be look I'm young. Sorry, I'm okay okay so like that you can say but you can people can tell more about that if it is mercury he will be lean and thin his skin will be dry he will be very talkative he is like you can you can explain his body structure people will feel like uh, he is in front of you but okay. the thing is now it's a uh, in different culture different people are there so now telling that it is a little difficult or you need a more practice to do that okay so right. okay thank you yeah no Sir, so this will be like the question which uh, another user asked: How the person looks his complexion? This will study in this course or in the advanced? No, course? we uh, we are not going to study how will be the complexion and everything. But we I, we are going to I, learn about their personality and characteristics, not the look, because look it is difficult to tell. Okay, but so, I'll tell you so how, how will be his course, their personality, yeah. thought process, and all that. We will definitely discuss. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um. So you you guys are understanding, Miss, uh, or like my voice is clear. Yes, sir. We are understanding clear and very easy language you are telling us, and we are uh, assimilating what you are telling, sir. As of now, sir. Ah, uh, Cynthia, you are following sir, but... me, right? My accent and everything. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. So we are understanding, but these twelve houses, different things are little means like too much to. We have to mug up this. Yeah, you don't. Really... You don't need to. Uh, you don't need to mug up. Only one thing you have to remember that I told you. Okay. Planets. That uh, how uh, that the zodiac sign, order their number and their lot. Okay. Okay, then we will go to the second house. This house is all related to money matters, fortune, profit, gain, power, resources, security, material achievement, jewelry, share, security, speech, eyes. See, when you will become expert, right? And when you have to deal with particular things, then you can still refer this document and you can see this. See, when you are discussing about jewelry, suppose somebody will say that, I lost my jewelry or something. You should be knowing that which house represents that. Okay, security, speech, eyes, vision, stocks, bonds. These are like your assets. Okay, so that's what I have written in details. But it it doesn't mean like you have to remember today itself. Okay, so here I have given the three things: wealth, speech, family. That is enough. Okay. third house like mental intellect this position is governed by this house courage courage like how you are dealing with anything if any problem comes how you are handling this so this one relationship with brothers and sister assistance otherwise from them also study from this house relation with neighbors valor and short travel communication and transport correspondence writing change of residence contracts agreements so these all are like self explanatory okay mother native place this, this is the house of mother and happiness okay so other things are written here i think you can read this it's a uh, nothing to like to explain anything here okay house of progeny and romance enemy and disease okay marriage partnership accident and death fate and fortune ninth house wealth house profession gains expense losses okay so now what i'll what i'm going to do is okay clear <clears throat> now i'm going to teach you something which is really important and you have to remember this
okay so this is this is how the zodiac sign is and i am writing that house number okay h1 h2 this is house number h3 h4 h5 h6 h7 h8 h9 h10 h11 h12 okay so now understand properly okay you see this this is square here this h1 h2 oh, sorry h1 h4 h7 and h10 these are called the kendra's house or we say that vishnu's asthan kendra's house in the sense these houses are the building blocks of your life this is what you need in life mainly h10 is about career you need a career you need happiness vehicles property home house this is dad this is mom this is wife relationship this is your self health these are the basic things you want in your life and that made your life like a, okay life you have proper life kind of and then this is called the h1 h5 and h9 this okay i'm erasing this one <laughs> so Okay, so this H1, H5, and H9, if you see, this is like a triangle. H1, H5, H9, this looks like a triangle. Okay. So this is called the Lakshmi Asthan or your blessings. So this is called your one kind of bliss, you can say. This is what you want. And this is the blessings. So that's why people, they whenever this any of these house is meeting with any of these house, okay, one is common anyway, so five and nine. So we say that they have the Rajura, one sort of Rajura. Means that person can achieve at least uh, his own car, his own vehicle, his own house, married life is all the basic things whatever people wish in this life they that get fulfilled minimum things at least okay so it, it is it is in the more <laughs> of a uh, ratio also but but the this relation between this kendras and this trikonas okay this triangle and the corners okay so this kendra is like corners like a triangles. Planets, same thing, they follow the same rule. Okay. As I said, right? House, house lord, and significant. Oh, yeah. Okay. yeah, don't make another new rules, but this is this. We will follow. This is the same thing we will follow. Right. Right. Okay, whether planet is there or not there, we will mm -hmm. focus on the next one, the next one. Okay, so this is the trend. So these four plus two, six houses, really good. Okay. Now we have this six, eight, and twelve. H six, H eight, and H twelve. These three houses are called the Dushtanta house. Means bad house. This gives the disease, this gives the death, accident, longevity, those type of problem related to our lifespan. And this is the loss, losing everything, 
health loss and all those things. okay so these three are gone so four plus two six plus three nine is gone now we left with this one this one and this one this house is for family resource but this is also called the marka house that means that when death comes at that time either this or this or there's something called the badak either one of the dasa is going on so this timing of this period is good for the finance perspective family perspective but it is uh, not good for the longevity so in that sense it is bad but in monetary sense materialistic sense it is good okay so the spiritual person the sages they were telling like it is bad okay because it is reducing our life span okay so h2 is good or bad you decide as per the situation if we are checking about money and all it's good family good food good uh, if checking about longevity then maybe problem at that h3 is interesting okay so this it is courage sahas but it is again related to longevity it is not good health wise it is not good courage wise it is good media wise it is good communication wise it is good but it is not good for in that sense okay so courage wise all those things it is good but in other sense it is it is not good okay 11 it is income it is really good okay but it is also giving the disease but otherwise it is good this is one of the good house which gives the income gain fulfillment of all your desires so it is one sense it is good but when it comes to health at that time it gives the disease बेसिकली योर गेन Okay. if you have multiple good planets here you have multiple source of income but it is at end of the day how much you are able to save you know somebody says that i have lot of source of income lot of good income but end of the day i am not able to save it because the problem in the second half somebody says that my income is not less but they are still able to save and able to do that lot of thing okay so this is how the house is so our first house Fourth house, seventh house, and tenth. These all are the corner house. It is good. Five, nine, one is common, so it is very good. It is called trine. Six, eight, twelve. It is bad. Three, six, ten, and eleven. These are the houses that we say that upachya house. this you cannot say bad uh average. directly but you cannot say good directly <laughs> okay <laughs> but over the age these houses are giving good result the more you grow these guys are like uh, getting mature and start giving positive result okay uh second house is family resource but uh, at time of longevity this creates problem and 11th as i said it is good income but only thing is it creates problem in health issues but otherwise it is good only <laughs> for our things whatever we need it is good only <laughs> okay because we need that 
so wh why I explain you this one? So when we are deciding whether the planet is good or bad, we are deciding based on this house owner. If any planet, zodiac sign, who is owner of this house, they are good. If it is owner of this house, it is bad. Okay. So suppose a planet who is the owner of eighth house, then that planet, wherever it will go, it will try to cut that person from that relationship. It creates problem. It try to give their health issues. Okay. So like that, we have to see that. Okay. Now tell me how many of you it got bombs. <laughs> you didn't get anything. <laughs> I know it is a little complex, but but we will make it. No problem. Cynthia, yeah, are you following? The re I'm following, but I'm going to have to watch the replay because that was intense. Yeah, it is intense. Yes, <laughs> you're right. But what, what I'm expecting, like that uh, particular page, that zodiac sign and its lord, Okay, that you have to remember. Otherwise, it will be very difficult for me to explain the next topic. Okay. Okay. So we learned only uh, one thing uh, today. Okay, when you put software, you get the chart and you will see the house, you see the numbering and you see the planets. So out of that, couple of houses are good, couple of houses are bad. And the number of the is given in the house, that zodiac sign lord is the lord of that house. Okay, that is the only three things we learn. Okay, one, one minute, Anupji. So like in this example, Example. For, for example, this is one of the house. For example, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. And suppose here Sun and Mercury is there. Then we say that the Lord of the first house so there is who is the zodiac sign of the first house? First house zodiac Aries. sign is the Aries and Lord Mars. is the Mars. So the condition of the first house depends on the Mars, situation of Mars and the Sun and Mercury and the Karkatwa of the first house, significator of the first house, that is Sun. Okay. So like that, we have to read. We have to just, you have to think so make a four or five chart, any chart randomly, and just think in these three perspective. Okay, yeah, Nubji. Yeah, sir. Uh, so like uh, in the few minutes before we studied that house number two, house number three, house number three were done. Our uh, good houses when they when a person matures of age so uh, and uh, like six eight and twelve are bad houses so hmm. sir we will be studying in detail now how to analyze that because that is a little difficult yeah, yeah yeah that we will see in details yeah Yeah, we are going to see this in detail. I, I just gave you the heads up of what we are going to learn, how we are going to learn, so that it won't be surprising in future. So now what we are going to do is we, we, will, we have seen significance of house. We will see significance of zodiac sign and significance of planets. Okay. And then we will start checking that how the aspect is strength and all those things. Okay. So that we can determine whether that planet is good or bad. Sir, I have shared an Excel sheet with you uh, from your own notes. Uh, if you if you, if you think that it is wise to share it with everyone, it will really help. It helped me in understanding the different houses and uh, you know what they mean to. Uh, Excel sheet? Yeah, I have sent you an Excel sheet. Take okay. a look at it. and. I think you want to share it with others. It will be really yeah, yeah, sure, sure. We will form a group and we can share there also. Okay. Yeah. 
अभी जो आपने एग्जाम्पल दिया है कि अभी फर्स्ट हाउस एरिस का है मार्स इज अ रूलिंग डिजोडिक साइन तो ये जो मार्स है ये इम्पैक्ट सन मरको करेगा या प्लेनेट इसको इम्पैक्ट करेगा करेक्टरिस्टिक्स मतलब ऑन होम सी दस मार्स इज द लॉर्ड ऑफ द फर्स्ट हाउस इवेंट रिलेटेड टू फर्स्ट हाउस ओके how is strong if you want to know how strong is your first house so first house is about suppose your body okay mm-hmm. physical body how right. strong your physical body is it depends on mars not on the sun or mercury mm-hmm. sun and mercury just creates the desire in your mind related to the first house sun is like a ego wanted to be king mm-hmm. so they you will think like okay let me keep my body like little look royal or like that okay, right. okay? mercury mm-hmm. will say that okay i want to become beautiful okay i want to feel yeah mm-hmm. but giving result is the mars he is the owner of that house and strength of this house tells exactly the event how much it will be fructified Right, right. Like for suppose it's a pregnancy. If suppose mm-hmm. malefics are there, so mm-hmm. pregnancy period will be difficult. But whether that will be delivered or it will be miscarriage, depending on their strength of their lord. Okay. Okay. So the planet in that it just understand it will just create the process journey of that one. Okay. Mm-hmm. Or the desire of that one when it is a malefic planet. people are very ignorant they don't want to wish positive things or they are very pessimistic if here saturn or rahu ketu will be there people will be very pessimistic they will not think about positive if he will get sick he will think he will die okay but he will die or not it doesn't matter it's just thinking of their person or desire of their person it depends on the mars whether that will their desire will completely fulfill or not okay so think with cool mind and then you will understand <laughs> okay thank you sir uh, so cynthia you are following my accent right means no problem in that oh i'm good yeah thank you mm-hmm. so ritu ji aap okay You are good. Yes, I'm absolutely fine. It's easy. I, I mean, I understood what you said. I hope. <laughs> yeah. So <laughs> see, even even it is first class. I made it little, uh, not a complex, but little high. Uh, mm-hmm. Why? Because I want to set the expectation today itself. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I'm also learning by teaching <laughs> you. So <laughs> in previous batch and all, I don't want to give you like at last moment all the surprises. So this is what we are going to do. So slowly yeah. we will. uh learn about mars zodiac sign and everything and then we will see how it is. but end of the day this is what we are going to do mm-hmm. okay so it it won't be that much complex okay but what i am expecting from next class uh you just remember that one uh yeah, zodiac yeah. sign okay. zodiac sign lord and their numberings mm-hmm. yeah okay rest yeah. everything you don't need to remember means if you remember that's good but you don't need to remember because software will take care of all the things right okay mm. yeah good i hope you like today's session <laughs> so we will wrap up and we'll meet yes. next week saturday and sunday okay next week two days class same link that i shared will work so thank you so much thank you okay i'll i'll form a group and i'll send that link as well in the email if you are not receiving that email just uh, uh, check your spam folder okay and uh, yeah okay okay then thank you cynthia if okay, you face sir. any problem anything you can ask me okay thank you sir thank you have thank a you wonderful so day i'll share the recording and uh, presentation okay so thank you thank you. hi everyone thank you jay ji thank, thank you thank you, thank you very much okay bye bye
नमस्कार बाय